What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Apathy, and we're back with five tips to instantly get you better in Vanguard. Now, you guys know the gameplay, the movement is a little different than Vanguard. There's some new things they added into it, so we're going to be breaking some stuff down and giving you guys the best tips to improve and get better fast. And we're going to get straight into it. Tip number one. This may be pretty simple, but it needs to stick in your head. Do not drop shot in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, drop shotting can be very bad. Because when you drop shot, your gun actually pulls out for almost a whole second. And you guys know the TTK is very fast. This one second can make all the difference. And then if you were to aim in as you're getting up, it aims out once again. So drop shotting can be very risky. I've seen people do this and basically start shooting, get turned on because they have to aim their gun back in. The guy runs across and just bada boom, bada bing. So past CODs, even like hiding outside of doors and kind of sitting like this prone and like, uh, like just kind of sitting here of like prone and basically in a drop shot stance can be very risky so a lot of the times man if you want to camp a corner yes you can still lay down if you think it's a really good spot to lay down but a lot of times you should stay crouched or even just stand up in corners and just be in position to get ready to shoot and kill someone because drop shot is a no-no in this game instead let's implement some better stuff and that brings me to tip number two now i don't know if this is going to catch people by surprise but jump shotting in this game is actually a lot more effective if compared to i guess past cods and it's actually just as good as slight canceling maybe even better in some engagements and here is why ttk one plays a big role in it ttk is fast if someone is sitting here pre if someone's in that ladder right under that ladder pre-aiming me by the time i slide cancel this corner and pull up my gun now obviously if i hit the perfect slide cancel where my gun kind of pulls up as i'm aimed in i have a small chance but a lot of times if he's just sitting there pre-aiming this and i try to slide cancel the corner unless i'm host or some crazy advantage on connection he's probably going to kill me a uh, majority of the times i will win it every now and then but majority of the times he will kill me but if i jump shot the corner and here's why when you jump shot the corner your gun is already pulled up so when you slide cancel corner your gun has to pull up and the best way to slide cancel corners are where you want to time it where as you're sliding around the corner you're almost getting ready to aim in that way it's a very good camera but that takes a lot of practice and even then it isn't always going to work but when you jump shot around a corner your gun's already aimed in because one you're going to camera this guy because you're going to jump kind of far and fast and then two, the trick to jump shotting is when you jump around a corner or jump around anything, you want to be aimed in. So when I do this, I'm ready to shoot and fire and he's probably dead. When I do this, I kind of have to come around the corner, aim in and then shoot. So that one second or a half a second difference uh, can be everything. Now, I'm not saying slight canceling is horrible. You can still slight cancel around corners, kind of clear things out. But a lot of times when you're in position when you know someone is there and they kind of know you're there. A lot of the times it's better to kind of just take a straight up gunfight or even just jump shot the corner because if you try to slight cancel it from my experience and i've played a lot of vanguard already especially against the best players in the world um you know and respawn and search it is really hard to win those gunfights if they're a good player and they have a good position over you most of the time you're gonna die so hit some more jump shots oh and don't forget you can also bunny hop that's a really good movement to do now we're gonna be talking about one of the things they implemented in vanguard that's doors and walls and being able to shoot through them and break them and whatnot there's a couple things we can talk about them so let's go ahead and do it real quick now obviously you guys know you can shoot the doors you can make holes in them and you can actually use this to your advantage so like obviously if i shoot like two here now i can see all of this i have kind of a mini head glitch now i know you can shoot through doors pretty easily but i do have somewhat of an advantage he might not even see me doing this so this is really cool to do and implement into your gameplay obviously it just depends on the map depends if it's respawn depends if it's search uh depends what your positioning is looking like um but this can be really effective to do against people and you always kind of want to have the idea in your head don't be afraid to use it if you think it's the right time now if you're afraid to make noise because you don't want to shoot the door you can always hit them like punch them to make the wall and then you close it and then you just preem like whatever you want to preem now this this door got busted pretty hard from my punch but it is really good to do it i think every door is different and then you kind of have this head glitch where you're kind of in uh behind cover a bit and you can you know use this to your advantage basically so this is always a good way to think about if you don't want to shoot and even though these are a big wall and there's you know there's holes in them guys there's holes in them this is good to know and use it to your advantage because you can actually see through the holes you can get some information you can get corners you can see crosses and it's really good to use this to your advantage again this is another thing you can break a wall 
um if you want to make a bigger hole a lot of you guys know this if you don't want to shoot you can always like shoot all just literally a hole where you want to look at and this thing is really good to understand and you know just kind of know that you can do this and it will be super beneficial in times until i mean of course the wall is just completely gone and broken like then you're just kind of screwed another thing to know is that one if you want to break through walls like kool-aid man um you do have to be full tactical sprint in order to do it so always remember that because sometimes people try to break it when you're just regular sprint and it does not work you always got to make sure that you're full tactical sprint in order to break some of these walls because it can get you and it will get you killed if you don't know that another thing um that one was pretty obvious but another thing about these doors and kind of how you want to challenge them is a lot of times one you can camera doors you can really just like spread through them and kind of get the advantage and call basically call the peekers advantage someone's kind of just sitting here and kind of just waiting for you so always remember that you can camera doors you can use them to your advantage even though a guy might be preaming them now ttk is fast like i've said and mentioned before but don't be afraid to run through doors another good technique to do is slide through the door so instead of just running out like this like straight forward slide through the door that way you can even hit like a mini slide cancel or you can hit a camera and they want to expect it because you didn't run through it you slid through that thing now for the next tip go to settings go to controller go to gameplay i want you to go down to movement automatic airborne mantle show more turn off grounded turn off automatic grounded mantle now this is a very important tip to note because in this game for some reason when you have that on it happens to the majority of players it happened to me when you slide cancel it makes you jump in the end like this now i'm not i'm doing it on purpose here but basically it looks like this you're slide canceling and then every now and then it makes you jump makes your slide canceling movement very clunky very weird when you turn those things off if you are especially struggling with what i was struggling with your movement becomes super fluid you can slide cancel your cement it's like you're cemented to the ground everything feels good it feels like you're playing warzone again uh for the most part just no jumping no weird feeling slide cancels or movement so make sure those settings are off and if you don't know how to slide cancel it's basically slide slide x or jump but i have the movement tutorial videos especially on vanguard you guys want to check that out but to talk more about it in this game for some reason there's a one second cooldown i'm assuming it's to nerf the slide canceling a bit because it is kind of crazy um but basically when you slide cancel you can't really slide cancel again unless you do the slow one so you can basically do like a slow small one because you you get off the automatic tax sprint i can't automatic tax sprint for a second so there's two ways to kind of work around this one you hit a double slide cancel even though it's a slow one you slide cancel normal slide cancel again and by the time you're done with the second slide cancel a lot of the times if you do it right you're going to be able to move full speed and you can do another slide cancel if you want so let's say i want to do two slide cancels slide cancel slide cancel ready to go slide cancel slide cancel ready to go you see this it's ready to go so this is a way to you can implement your game and by the time you don't that second small slide cancel you're ready to go you, the cool down kind of goes away um not literally but in, in a way it does and there's another subtle way to fix this and this is a tip i give to a lot of people i know there's that one second cooldown. make that part of your gameplay and like implement into your gameplay that you know try to play around it it will make your movement a lot more fluid what do i mean by that when you're moving around the map and you know there's this cooldown you're slide canceling use like if you're trying to clear something you think you might fight someone like slide cancel here maybe preem here okay go again slide cancel here maybe preem there okay go again and that way you can see like my i slide cancel i'm basically i'm ready to full sprint again and ready to slide cancel again because that one second if you just take that one second to like preem something or kind of like just clear something out real quick and you basically by the time you're done doing that and you kind of implement it to your game you're ready to full sprint again you know what i mean so you can see like my movement looks really fluid really clean like i'm basically slide canceling a lot um a lot of times i'm auto automatic tactical sprinting um it's just practice but once you get used to it, it becomes like second nature muscle memory and you, your movement becomes a lot better especially because that's how vanguard is and for the fifth tip and the final tip ttk again i'm gonna say it because it plays a big part in a lot of these tips and just a lot of things in call of Duty in general is a lot higher you die and can die a lot quicker so this is something you should implement more into your gameplay and in vanguard is hitting some shoulders what is shoulders pros and a lot of people at the highest level do this because it's information is one of the most important things and a lot of times you can hit it without dying so basically a shoulder is simply just doing this 
and spotting someone or maybe trying to see if someone's there not trying to engage whatsoever because that one second you try to engage a lot of times you can die it's happened to me multiple it has it's happened to me in the past but you're just simply movement side to side trying to get shoulders trying to see if someone's there so for example i run out this door if i do this and someone's there i better challenge him if he's playing for me and i don't challenge him I, it's one or the other you have to commit you either challenge or you shoulder and you run so bang information run and you can use doors to get this type of information to kind of shoulder and run shoulder 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 run let me see if someone's here shoulder no one here let me see again shoulder no one here you're simply playing for information this is going to keep you alive and it's going to help you get more kills it's going to help you avoid danger it's going to help you not die because you decided to be you know overly aggressive whatever you want to call it like if i if you don't not shoulder and you think someone's there and you commit even if they come a second later or half a second later because of call timing like let's say i'm like you know what i'm not going to shoulder this let's say there's a guy over there in this wall you know what i'm not going to shoulder this boom i'm dead <laughs> but if i decide you know what i think someone might be back here let me shoulder oh he's there okay i'm not going to commit to it i'm going to run and I can now I can take another angle. I could run away to my spawn. I could play the hill, the whatever mode you're playing, whatever game you it is you're playing, whatever mode, whatever map, whatever. The point is shouldering is really good to do. And especially in higher TTK games, it is even more important to shoulder because it will keep you alive and it'll allow you to finesse and stay alive. And that valuable information can transfer to kills. And you want that. All right, guys, it's been your boy Apathy. I hope you enjoyed today's tip slash informative video talking about some of the big things about Vanguard and just kind of how to instantly make you better and play better. Some of these things you have to practice without a doubt. That's the whole point. It's something new to you, something you got to implement into your game. But I promise you, it will make you a better player. And some of these things are pretty easy to kind of apply. It just becomes, you know, putting in the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Apathy, aka the donk out.